I don't think I'm the same person now, even though it was only like 15 minutes of my life, but I genuinely don't feel like I, I will be the same after this. A lot of people are going through a lot of things and to be able to separate reality and what's going on in your mind is just, it's big. The things I strive for, they're here. There's just other words, other language. It's like a friend you didn't know you had and then you find it again. Journey of the Mind looks at how the work of Sikh teachers dating back 550 years can help society today. It's on display at the city's Kelvin Grove Art Gallery. Some of the um, exercises that we developed were about how to take something home to remind you um, or to be able to redo something later. And I think that that's an interesting point. It's like, let's, it's almost like a sort of a, a light form of training in a way. It's like, this is how I can use this in my own context with my own words and, and I can use this every day. A lot of things just came together like, you know, puzzles. And, and formed this incredible, interesting picture. So initially, I was like quite conscious of trying to do both at the same time, and then got used to kind of putting the dots down while also, looks like, repeating the word welcome. But it's like, as I was repeating the words, you can kind of notice that it becomes a lot more spread out, like down to the bottom, and a lot more just kind of relaxed, I think, which is pretty cool. So as I work at the University of St Andrews, it's really important that we design education that caters to very diverse population of students. So I think, yeah, we'll take some insights from the workshops to hopefully implement in my own work. I'll definitely try to play with the idea of the two syllable sound in different moments of my life whenever I remember. As you mentioned, we get the kids together, and then if there's people like myself, and there's a number of others here, Gordon Smith, Andy McClam, Chris Boyd, Frank McIverney, people that the kids know have been high profile footballers, so then they get that relationship, they want to talk, they open up, and if we can get them all to open up, they're going to be in a better place for it, because what we don't want is any, particularly kids, we don't want anybody suffering, but particularly at a young age, you know, we want to try and release that burden, you know, that anxiety, everything that, that, that can come upon young kids speak to people, open up and see you know, the solutions there. Yeah. The only way you'll find them is by looking for them. First and foremost, it was something new, combining sport to address issues around mental health. And I think that, that sort of model has not been used before. We've certainly not been involved in something like that. You know, we're just getting our pictures taken and now we're in an art museum for tons of people to see. And it was quite mind-blowing at first. 
but now that it's kind of set and it's like, oh, this is really happening, it's kind of like, I made an impact. So what we're going to do is, we're going to get you guys to draw your face on here, and we're going to put it up on the side here. And everyone can see that we're all different on the outside, but we're all the same on the inside. Yeah? Cool. So there's pens, there's googly eyes, there's some felt, so you can cut it out and have a go. I learned that everybody is the same on the inside. Absolutely. As we say in the army, we all pee the same stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> If you'd like a quiet mind today and a chance of having a quiet mind tomorrow, just go and check out the exhibition. The reminder to come back to yourself to look inward, to remember who you are and, and, and the faculties that you have within you. It's just such a important message that I think we've needed and have had throughout history, but in the noise, we've forgotten it. And so it's nice to have that reminder. All the storyline and then also the other things that were written just guided us through an actual journey and really feel like that story is also your story. There's often a, a carrot dangled in front of us to kind of look for more status and you know the, the, the next bit of importance in our life. Um, and I guess it was just a bit a nice reminder that you know you can kind of seek a peace within yourself that means that you don't have to go chasing those things. Things like this never happen, you know, going to an exhibition, especially in this museum, it's very historic and, you know, I'm very proud to be sick right now. I think in the first moment I actually was a bit teary because I feel I was reconnected to something inside. Are you going to cry? I was not prepared for that. We learn a lot of this, the story and a lot of the, the histories and stuff, but beyond that we see how it can be used as a lived practice. I, I found almost straight away that I was very comfortable and pretty much in agreement with everything that was that was being said and I thought I, I'd always con considered myself an atheist, maybe I'm a Sikh. We always take it for granted the mind and brain is just the, the same thing, but from the diagram I see that it's quite different, it's rather interesting. I think learning about Simran has just blown my mind. When you go in, you're saying the thing, it feels like your brain is just, all the thoughts are going by. I feel like I can still hear it overplaying in my mind. Knowing that peace is something that is universal, doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, you know, who you worship, your religion, what it is you do, peace is something that is universal for everyone. And just finding that is our journey to heal the world.
because I feel there is need always to know the background of our cultures and how we are living today, but also how it was before and how it is now for us to be able even to live for the future. Yeah, I think this, this message could really help a lot of people. And I wish I had this, you know, when I was going through the dark of it. But I think this will really help me push through the, the end of it.